up guys? So today we're going to have a quick talk about how to keep moisture out of your airbrushing setup. If you've done a fair bit of airbrushing you'll already know this but a little bit of moisture in your air uh, can really mess up a paint job particularly if you're using waterborne paints. It can cause you all sorts of problems so it's very important to keep your air dry. Now there are a few things you can do uh, in order to help keep your air drier without really having to buy anything. One of them is to use a shorter air hose, pretty much as short as you can. That's not always an option, uh, but your air changes temperature as it goes through the hose, and the longer it has to travel through that hose, the more opportunity it has to change temperature and create condensation, basically. So changes in air temperature can affect the amount of moisture that actually comes through your airbrush. Uh, that's part of why a lot of people don't like spraying on cold days. It's, it's also because things don't dry properly, for example your paint, but it can create humidity issues as well. Then of course there are ways to filter the moisture out of your air. Uh, having a tank on your compressor actually acts as a bit of a moisture trap in a way because a lot of the moisture condenses, condensates, yeah there's condensation in the tank it gets on the sides and then it falls to the bottom, which is why it's important to drain the moisture out of your tank now and then. And of course, you can also get a moisture filter or a moisture trap like this one. There are other kinds as well. And these you want to have as close to your gun or your airbrush as possible. So this one, I put right at the base of my gun, if I'm using that. Or for the airbrush, I put it just before the regulator, which then goes into the thin airbrush hose. If you're worried and you want to be even more sure, you can get an airbrush specific version. This is another moisture trap that goes right on the end of the airbrush. Just make sure if you're using these things that you vent them now and then to get the water out of there. So honestly the tank on my compressor catches pretty much all of the uh, moisture. I, I almost never have to use the other two filters. Well, I shouldn't say that. I use them, but there's never any water in them. So really, you should be able to get away with just using a compressor with a tank on it, which you should be anyway. You, can, you don't always have to for airbrushing, but for a paint gun you should. Um, and trying to keep your hose reasonably short. So there you go. That's how you keep water from getting into your, your airbrush and uh, screwing up your paint jobs. And it's up to you how anal you want to be about it. I mean, I'm like a friggin' feminine products commercial here. I got three layers of moisture protection. But anyway, uh, you don't need that. You can get away with just having the, the tank on your compressor, or if you want, you can start adding in more protection uh, after that, particularly if you're using water-based paints and, and you're worried about it. So as always, guys, I hope that helped. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.